after lines, the next two most important functions to our calculus study is going to be exponential and logarithmic functions. And they are very closely related. Let's first look at how they're related. An exponential function has some base that's risen to some exponent, and that's going to equal some answer. A logarithmic function, also known as a logarithm, is written with this word log to indicate the change of order. But it's the same expression. The base is still b, but we're going to put the answer inside the logarithm, and it's going to equal the exponent. A logarithm equals the exponent because the log is the exponent. So for example, if I had an expression like 5 to the x equals 25, we can change that to a logarithm where the base of the exponent is 5, so the base of the logarithm is 5. The answer of 25 goes in the log, and the log equals the exponent, which is x. We can go the other way, too. I can take a logarithm, like a log base 2 of b equals 3. The base of the logarithm is the base of the exponential. The log equals the exponent, and what's inside the log is the answer. We should be able to convert back and forth between logarithms and exponents because they're the exact same expression, just written different ways. We also need to know how to evaluate logs and exponents on a calculator. Let's first take a look at f of x equals 3 times 8 to the x. And we're going to find f of 2. Well, we know that means we're going to take 3 times 8 and replace the x with the 2. So let's look at how that goes on the calculator. On the calculator, I can type 3 times 8. And then to get the exponent, we'll use the exponent key. And then do the number 2 to find out our answer is 192. Let's try another one. Let's do f of x equals e to the 2x. And we're going to find f of 2.5. Well, we know that's going to be e to the 2 times 2.5. And so we'll go to the calculator. e we can get on the calculator by hitting the second button and then clicking the ln button, because above it's going to be the e to the x. It's always good to put parentheses around your exponent to guarantee the calculator knows everything is in the exponent. 2 times 2.5 in the exponent, and we end up with 148.41. There's two types of logarithms we can do on our calculator. One is a base 10, and one is a base e. If I see the expression the log of 20, with no base written, that tells me the base is actually equal to 10. And you notice on your calculator, there is a log button with no base written. Then if I type in the 20 and hit Enter, we end up with 1.30 for the log of 20. Let's do one more. Let's do 5 times the natural log of 7.8. When I see ln with no base written, ln stands for natural log, which means the base is e. On the calculator, there's an ln button. So we can do 5 ln of 7.8. To find out, the solution is 10.27. Logs and exponents are inverses. We can switch between logs and exponents in form. And you should know how to do logs on the calculator. On our next video, we're going to take a look at how we can use logs to help us solve an exponential equation.